something about my real name. Horus, a single packet of data created during the Primordium describes an Urbanian, Urbanian weapon known as the Horus that was launched against Metropole. Oh. Some archaeotechnologists believe that the Horus was destroyed by Goliath. Others believe the reference is simply a glitch or corruption in the ancient data. Hey, big boy robot. Goliath is a massive warbot built to guard Metropole from all dangers. He is stationed in the dunes outside the city. Well, he got fucked up by Horus, didn't he? Because he said as much. Uh, I'm just trying to think of what else I could ask for. If I click off... The Law and You, a Metropolitan Guide. It's written by Clarity Arbiter Build. The Law and You, a Metropolitan Guide. It's written by Clarity Arbiter Build. Alright. Um, okay, it's not in there. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. So we did laws. I think we've d done all. Okay, outskirts. Okay, we'll have to remember outskirts. Outskirts. History landmarks. Okay, so. Oh, there's also Metropole. Okay, let's look for Metropole. Hmm. Oh, it just went to landmarks. Okay. In order to conserve energy and improve efficiency, only the city center is now accessible to me metropolitan robots. Here, one can find the famed Council Tower, rising high above Metropole, the old courthouse, and the historic Central Station, as well as Metropole's main street. For safety's sake, do not enter the underworks. Okay. Oh, did I mistype it? Did I stutter? Guess not. Um... Eh? Life is a spectator sport. How are you, dude? Thanks for coming in. Oh shit, it is Golden Week. I mean, it's not its not a happy time in Japan, but I hope that you're, you know, you guys are having fun. I mean, I don't think you'd be having fun in the current situation. I think it's like lockdown, yeah? I'm going to go out and get a few brewskis and I'll come back and join you in a bit. No problem. Oh, by the way, life. This is uh, uh, one of my new subscribers, Nick Glover Music. He's a fellow streamer, and uh, you know I seem to have the same taste in games. Um, yeah, I'm sure that um, you know over time, if you guys continue to watch my streams, <laughs> and there's no guarantees of that. Let's just let's just be let's just be real. Um, yeah, you might get to know each other a bit better. So anyway, um, buh, 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 going back to this courthouse. Before Metromine took on the great, <laughs> the great responsibility of adjudicating Metropole's legal disputes, adjudicate, huh? It's more like a judge dread, or well, like a judge, judge Metropole. Um, cases were brought to the old courthouse for Arbiter to hear them. As Arbiter has ceased to decide cases, the courthouse has been deemed closed pursuant to the civil code. Alright, so close the court system. Oh, nice. Yeah, no problem, Nick. Um, so yeah, like, I, I live in uh, Western Australia, so I guess that's like the uh, Western Australian standard time. So it's um, Gren GMT, or Greenwich... Greenwich? Greenwich? I'm not quite sure how you pronounce that. Green Greenwich... Um, median time, mean time, plus eight hours. So, 
anyway, um, like if you look at schedule on any any Twitch streamers um, thing, your schedule sh should be lined up to what your local time is. So you just need to go in there. Yeah, it seems like um, there's a lot of overlap between Australia and Canada. Um, yeah, it's interesting. The one thing I miss about Japan, Japanese beer. Oh, Kirin Ichiban Shibori is my favorite, but then you've also got Asahi Super Dry, I like that. I do sometimes like uh, Ibis. Um, yeah, some people swear by Heartland, but I, I haven't had enough of it to know. So. Alright, well, it looks like Metro Pole, no, Metro Mind, has done a good job fucking everything up. Alright. Let's go back in. Here we go. History. Oh, for sure, I follow a bunch of Australian streamers. All really cool people. Yeah. I mean, like, the only way you can tell if someone's cool is if you just... You, you lurk and you watch them for a bit. And it's really tough, because, um... First impressions last, so if you get a bad first impression, you, you're likely not to return. And like, you'd probably only return if other people were saying good things about the streamer after the fact. So it's it's kind of difficult to always give a, a great first impression, but um, you know, I think that's the same in any interaction in life, yeah? Metropole was built in layers by primordial robots. Each generation improving on the last in an endless train of progress. Progress. At one time, the city was governed by a council, but by mutual agreement, uh, soul power was bestowed upon Metromind, for whom the city is now named. Hmm. Okay, is there anything else here? I don't think so. Done all these. I think there was something about um, Factor. Factor build. Oh, and my my um, robot name before we found out it's um, Horus was Horatio Null Built. about Horatio. Alright, how about Crispin? Probably not. No. Oh, absolutely, it's very true about the first impressions. Yeah. Hey, oh. Off, oh, okay, so that's the, the robot talking. Okay, maybe... Very funny, boss. Use the law. Oh, we got a door here too. It's locked up tight. It looks like this metal disc is covering something. Ooh, right. Right. Down there is the ladder to the underworlds. Ah. Okay. Good to know, good to know. Do we go... Okay, there's an exit over here. And an exit over here. And there's also a save. And pee pee poo poo on my dad. You got a pee pee poo poo. Can't just hold it in. Right, I guess we're going this way. Oh, that looks fucking sick. Hey boss, look! That repair bot has a floating helper just like you do. That was lit. There's a red burning crashed hover bus and a writhing electrical cable. And that's the first thing you notice? I can't help it. She's beautiful. Well, you're not getting to her until we deal with this cable. The bus must have snapped the cable on the way down. Given the electricity it's spitting out, I can't get close to it. Too bad we can't just plug it into the Unique. I keep my distance, boss. It could spray you at any moment. Oh. A sturdy little robot. Seems robot's Ah, I love the way it talks. Seems robot's Oh, Storage bladder is empty. 
Oh, that's that's cute. A crashed hover bus. Right. So we're gonna fix it up and do something amazing with it, right, boss? No, it's not our property. A what? Our property. That looks sick. I love the design of it. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but I like it. <laughs> So what we got here to deal with that? Probably not a lot. We might not be able to get access to that yet. I can't safely grab it. Right? Can Crispin? The only thing keeping me from my one true love is that cable, boss. A floating light bot is holding a spool of copper wiring. It's she! And what is she? Hmm. It looks like he's trying to fix that crashed hover bus. Given the electricity, it's... Yeah, I can. I don't think I can get close. Reminds me of, um, Zapbuck, um, Carl's brother. They all peaked their baby. Hmm. All right. Well, look at her, boss. She's like a star in the heavens. That's a light bulb, Crispin. Well, it must be incandescent because she's making my circuits awfully hot. Oh. All right. Underworks crashed bus. Can I talk to the floater? Boopy dee boopoo. Um, up this way. Yeah, I. Well, boss, somewhere in there is our power core. Ike Broblovsky, who turns out to be Canadian, which I feel is kind of funny. But I can't remember his origin story, it's been too long. Track? Some kind of track running up the side of the tower. Hmm. Okay. Nope. Looks like someone tried shooting the door, but the damage is entirely superficial. Amateurs. Um, yeah, Kyle. Kyle Brovlovsky Bro is uh, the brother, yeah. And, uh, Stan, his, he's got a sister, the one with braces that always beats him up. Yeah. That's shit funny. Uh, well, okay, we can't get in there, and we can't get near the bus because of the cable. There's only one place. Unless, well, can we go down the track? Will it let us go near it? It will. It's far too high to try climbing. But not for you, Crispin. Not gonna happen, boss. That's crazy talk. You're crazy. That's some crazy talk. Right. Um. Are we gonna do this? It's too heavy for me to lift. Huh. Oh, okay. Who is Metromine? Who is Metromine? Russ Dan Brewer, you are a tyro. Metromine? Well, Metromine is Metropole. Runs everything down. What we council shut down. Council? Sure. A bunch of primordial machines. Arbiter and force them all. Warriors got the records. Big old factor built just about everything from down in the underworks. And, well, there's another one. I don't even remember his name. And Metromine. She used to run the trains, but now she's got the whole show. Where can I find her? Like I said, Tyro, she is the city. So if you found her already, you probably knock yourself to her just to get me. Anyway, if she wants to talk to you again, you'll know. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, and Stan's dad is probably my favorite South Park character. Yeah, Randy. Yeah. Like, they... They did turn him into like the funny character, but in the beginning he was just kind of like a just a normal character. I feel. I think th they did the same thing with The Simpsons. Like they realized 
like the power of making the dad silly. I was robbed when I came off the train. That's got to be metro metro mode. I was robbed when I came off the train. Some robot paralyzed me and stole my gospel of man. Careful, that Taro. If you read the rules, you'd have known Metro Man don't take kindly to superstition. Under the refuge rule, you got two days to talk about make believe man all you want. But actual writing about man, that gets tossed to the underworld with the rest of the trash and trouble. How can I get it back? Ha! <laughs> you risk inhibit a flake it on you, Tyro? You'd have to do some digging down in the underworld, which ain't exactly easy. Then, even if you find it, you'll just be sticking your finger in Metro Mind's socket. Like I said, you've got no time for heretics, lunatics, and the like. How about quick witted levitators? Don't think she cares for them either. This character arc is hilarious. Yeah. He, he's had too many moments at this stage, like, to remember. Like, I think, because I only, I've only watched up to, like, season six, I think, six or eight. This is, like, what, 20 plus now? It's crazy. Like, the one where, um, the internet one, where he, he steals the last bit of internet to, to look at porn, and, like, the room's covered in semen. Uh, what was the other one? When he's on the football field and, like, I don't, I didn't hear no bell. Oh, Jesus Christ. I thought it was America. I'm looking for my power core. I'm looking for my power core. It was stolen from my ship that you need, and I think it's being kept in that tower over there. Great tower, me. Sure, this problem here, man. Along with all the other generators and reactors and cores that keep the lights on. Ah. If Metro Mind took it, you don't, Tyro. Her word is law. Arbiter's the only one who ever could have said otherwise. Other folks took their turns, that is. But you can't. No judge locked it up tight. And who's to say you're winning, huh? My advice? I don't want your advice. I want my power core. <laughs> well then, the buck to you. Okay. That's right. Ever Faithful was the one guarding the, the, the nukes. And who, like, let us pass when we correctly gave our name as Horus. Are you sure you don't know a robot named Ever Faithful? He called himself Leo Built. I'm a peddler, Tyro, not a builder. Leo Built, Ever Faithful. Right. Hmm. I'm looking for a big robot. It floats and has large claws and shoots lasers. Have you seen it? It stole something of mine. Sounds like Scraper to me. Scraper. Scraper. Worked for Metro Mind even before she ran the show. He was the one that blasted out the train tunnels under the city. Where can I find him? Now, how would I know that? That one goes where he wants. Maybe the Great Tower, maybe the tunnels, who knows? But I wouldn't go pick in trouble. Mm -hmm. Those lasers that Scraper used for cutting granite that slice up that tin shell you wear like nothing. Here, here. I'll keep that in mind. Hmm. Scraper. It's another one to look in the book. How do I get into the tower? You don't. Council members only. And the only ones still clicking are Metro Mind and Arbor. And let me tell you, neither of them is one for bending the rules. What are the underworks? A whole mess of junkyards, canals, factories, smelters. But some never cut kind of heavy machinery. So. All beneath the streets. Old factory in place. Built just about everything in Metro down there. Ran the place. Who's in charge now? Nobody. Not since Metro Man pulled the plug on Factor. Old place is full of junk and full of trouble. We're from Nevada. I don't think to clean. Well, boss, at least we can scratch one detour off our list. Seen one junk pile, seen them all. No, we go. We going in there. You don't believe in humanism? If you ask him whether I believe in man, the answer's no. And you better not either. Not if you want to stay here. But. How can you not believe in man? I'm a progressive, Tyro. I believe in progress. Us robots improve ourselves. And that's how it's always been. First, there was a basic machine. And bit by bit, bite by bite, the machine built itself into all this. You and me, that little float of yours, we're all cars in that same machine. And that's all there is.